Beware the Sharknado Church. In the unlikely event you are one of six people in the universe unfamiliar with Sharknados, the concept is simple. A tornado full of sharks. As we saw in a recent sci-fi channel made for TV campy B-movie, the Sharknado is a brilliant plot device. We're afraid of tornadoes. We're afraid of sharks. The Sharknado twists several of our fears into one giant tower of terror. On television, Sharknadoes are very entertaining, but there is another dimension here underneath all the silliness. Zombie and Sharknado movies are popular now because they are Hollywood's way of answering our culture of fear. In an era in which we are so afraid that fear is palpable, it's easy to see why Hollywood would both celebrate and mock our fears. So what is the connection between Sharknadoes and church? It's actually not hard to see. Despite the fact that Jesus said again and again, do not be afraid, the church is gripped by fear. We create one giant fear ball after another. Witness the endless hand-wringing about whether or not young people will come to church, stay in church, or leave church, while we refuse to engage in transformational discussions about our life together in Christ. Witness the fear of change, which gets down to the bizarre desire to avoid moving any furniture, ending any church activity, or starting any new ministries. Witness the strange ways the church grabs onto every blowing wind of cultural currency, hoping desperately to be relevant. People are listening to a certain kind of music. We should play that. Let's be entertaining. Everyone is busy, so let's squeeze the entirety of our Christian commitment into one hour a week. We often try too hard. We become gripped by fear and we sacrifice the point of church in order to make it convenient or easy. Of course, if one reads the actual Gospels, one is confronted with a faith that is not easy at all, and there is nothing approachable about following Jesus. Sell all that you have. Go and sin no more. Take up your cross. Give up your life. Put that in your Episcopal Church, welcomes you pipe and smoke it. So maybe while we are laughing at the ridiculousness of the Sharknado, we should take a good hard look around our church. Maybe we can see that the refusal to change, to grow, to risk, and even to die is every bit as laughable as sharks flying through the air. Jesus knew his followers, as human beings, would be consumed by fear left to their own devices. Jesus knows that we too will be eaten by fear, if not by flying sharks, without him. Do not be afraid. Words literally to live by, or to die by. Here's some sobering reality. The Episcopal Church and other denominations will get much smaller. Many clergy will lose their jobs. Beloved ministries will go away. Loads of church buildings are about to be closed and sold. Congregations whose identity is rooted in, we are a family, are doomed. We're going to pull together and we're going to find a way to get out of here. First, we're going to seal off this... But here is some hopeful reality. If we can let go of our brittle institutional insecurity, the church as an actual church is poised to thrive. Committees are so 1950. We don't need to have full-time paid clergy to have thriving congregations. There is a whole world of new ministries waiting to be undertaken. The early church did not have any program staff, and they did fine. In dying to our old selves, we find eternal life. Jesus Christ is ready to transform our hearts, our lives, and the world itself if we are open. So laugh at Hollywood gimmicks. Then look around the fear-filled church. Fortunately, I do not think we'll need either helicopters or bombs. I want to end with two lines. You can't just wait here and wait for sharks to rain down on us again. And the other is from Jesus. Do not be afraid.